guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to use your basic skirt pattern to cut a two-piece skirt usually one with a peplum blouse or any other good looking blouse so let's get to work in my previous video i showed you guys how to draft a basic skirt pattern so the basic skirt pattern we're using here has some adjustments. My hip measurement is what I used for my waist measurement. Then from my point zero, I measured to my knee length. I came up by five inches. And from the adjusted knee line, I came in by 1.5 inches and I connected it back to my hip line. Then with my pattern master, I made a nice curve connecting my adjusted knee back to my original name. So I'm going to show you guys how to add the fullness directly to your fabric. I already cut out my pattern and I have placed it on my fabric on fold. So I measured from the knee length across, I have 12 inches. So I measured 12 inches. Yeah. All the way to the length I'm working with 42 and I'm using band for the skirt so there's no zip so i'm going to minus the band height from the length of the skirt and i'm working with a band height of 1.5 inches and the skirt length of 42 so when i minus that i'm left with 40.5 so i measure from my top line to my full length 40.5 and i roll across and i add my I already added my hem allowance one inch to my fabric don't forget i'm cutting on fold so i have my one inch hem allowance now this skirt has fullness you can either use 90 as a circumference 100 or 120 it depends on you I'm going to be working with a circumference of 100. So I'm going to share it in two. 50 for the front, 50 for the back. So now I'm cutting on fold, which means I already have 25 here on fold. So if I minus 25 from the length of the, the knee, that is as I measured across, I minus it from 25. I'm left with 13. So when you add 13 plus the 12, I have 25 on fold. Then when I open it, I'm having my 50. So now I'm adding the 13 inches to the skirt to complete my 25 inch fullness circumference. In a straight line. So here I'm already having from here to here I'm already having 25 on fold. Then when I open it up, I'm having 50. Then with my ruler, I'm going to connect a straight line from the length of the pattern to the length of the skirt. I'm going to connect a straight line. Then, because this is a slanted line, I'm going to measure from my top line, same 40 points, point 0.5 plus my, um, plus my hair mail. So whatever I have, I'm going to also mark it out here. Okay, I'm having... 41.5. So I'm going to also measure 41.5 here. 41.5. Then I'm going to find the midpoint 
of the 25 inch fullness which is 12.5 then I'm going to connect this is to ensure that the skirt sits the fullness to give it that good looking shape so I'm going to blend with my pattern master I'm going to make a blend then I'm also going to add my sewing allowance of half inch to my fabric I'm adding my half inch to join the band and the skirt together adding my half inch then with my seam allowance which is already added hem allowance which is added and I'm cutting the fold so I'm going to cut out now I've cut my fabric then I also cut another fabric that would sit inside of the fabric so I'm going to shorten it by three inches this will enable when the coat is soon to avoid the material coming out. So I'm shutting it by three inches. So now I'll be sewing with my machine and I'm also going to join the second material. It's to enable this material stand out. So I'll do that. So I have sewn the skirt and I also inserted it into the outer garment. And I have it looking like this. The one that stays in is going to be shorter than the outer one. And I have my band here. So this is about 50, 51 inches. And I cut on fold two inches. So half goes for joining it to the band, joining it to the sketch rather. And then I'll show you how to insert your elastic. Okay, so after I joined the band, I left a small opening where I can insert the elastic band. And I'm working with a waist of 38, so I cut an elastic band of 29 inches. So I'm just going to insert it inside this opening. Then I'll pass it. So getting towards the end, I will leave a small part, then when I bring the other end out, I would run a stitch, holding the two ends of the elastic band, run a stitch, then I would close the mouth of the fabric this is the finished result of the skirt with the elastic band it's definitely worth trying and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to get more tutorials like this and if you make this skirt please tag me on instagram so i can see it till my next video bye for now